guys welcome back to my channel I'm Tatiana Anissa if you're new here welcome to the video y'all I have so much I want to talk to you guys about I have the new Juvia's Place mini palettes I want to review I have all three of the new ones and some other new stuff that I want to like review with you guys and talk about and share my thoughts on so if you want to see all of that then definitely keep on watching all right, so let's go ahead and get started. So I don't know if some of you guys have seen my purchase or pass video, but I did talk about Kylie Skin's new limited edition lip balm for her birthday. And I said I might pick it up, so I ended up actually picking it up. And I have some thoughts. I have all six that it came with, and I've tried out all six. And let me just tell you guys, I was not expecting what... I got so I knew all of them did not have a tint to it but I really expected the scents to be more prominent uh, in each lip balm since they are like they are supposed to be different scents but I found that some of them didn't really have a smell like honestly my favorite one that had the most smell even though it was still faint was the watermelon lip balm that she had but the rest are okay honey vanilla also you can like make out what it is but the other ones i just uh couldn't really tell what i was putting on my lips like the scent so that was a little bit disappointing but they're cute and they do the job don't get me wrong like they are lip balms and they do what a lip balm is supposed to do but i just was expecting a little bit more with these really nice flavors that she included in this set i've also been trying out the ColourPop cream shadow ColourPop did say that you could use this as an eyeshadow base and I will say that this dries really, really fast. And not only that, like I have it on my eyelids today, that's what I use to prime. It's kind of like patchy, so like you have to work fast. So like if it, it'll dry in one spot, so you'll have more on one spot. But at the end of the day, when I'm done with my eyeshadow, it looks good. So that's just one thing I noticed. And I also picked up the Beauty Bakery Ice Cream Paint Job brush set. And I wanted to use this today. I waited for you guys to use this cute little brush set. It is so cute. It comes with five eye brushes. And the best part about this is the top. So they literally have like little cooking utensils on the opposite end. Oh, they're so cute. This retailed for $30. Yes, $30? Yes. I think these are just absolutely the cutest things I've ever seen. And the brush set also came with this cute little holder for them, but it's an apron. It's an apron! I love Cashmere's mind. It is just amazing. Beauty Bakery is really 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 innovative and i love their products so this is exciting i'm excited to use these brushes we have all three mini palettes right here if you guys have not checked out any of juvia's places mini palettes they're amazing i have the other four right here and these were the original mini palettes and then Juvia's just randomly decided to hit us with three more minis, which I think is going to complete this little mini collection so well. Wait till you guys see the color story of these palettes. They are absolutely beautiful. So first off, let's go ahead and start with the sweet pinks because I have really been into pink eyeshadow lately. I don't know why, but I have. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. This is like the perfect pink dream i could not have asked for a better curated pink palette from juvia's i was just so blown away when i saw this this shade right here i'm like it, i'm just ready to dig into this i wore pink yesterday so i don't know if i'm gonna use this palette today which really really sucks because i really want to but you girl i don't know i'm gonna show you the other palette that i'm really feeling like i really want to use today but i'm gonna go ahead and include some swatches of the sweet pinks for you guys so there are no names to these palettes so yeah all right so here are all six shades these are gorgeous oh my gosh those shimmers Stunning. Next, we have the 
taupes and this one is very 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 unique I'm gonna go ahead and compare this one to the chocolates because I think these two would pair so well together so we literally just have a muted color story basically to the chocolates so here are the two compared next to each other I feel like these two just would look so good together on the eyes but as you guys can see it's more of a like grayish toned kind of palette and this one's more chocolatey <laughs> but let's do some swatches of the taupe so we can get all up close and personal with this palette this one might swatch weirdly but we're gonna see all right so here are all six of the taupe shades they're really pretty like I love this is a different kind of formula than Duvius's original shimmer formula. I don't know what it is, but it's gorgeous. And lastly, we have the mauves. And this one is the one that I'm really leaning to use. I, oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. You guys, the mauves in here are stunning. There's this beautiful duochrome in here. And I want that shade all over my lid. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and swatch this so we can see what this is looking like. Okay, I want to swatch that duochrome first because this is the one I'm most excited about. Look at that beautiful duochrome. And then we have the rest of the shades. Looking pretty good. That one's a little light. And then we have this beautiful purpley kind of shade. I don't know if you guys guessed it in the beginning from my lips. I know it looks so weird right now, but from my lips, I'm going in with this one. I already kind of like matched it up together. So I want this on my eyes. I think that I'm going to do two separate videos with like a look from each of these because I'm really excited to play with this one. And I'm really intrigued by the taupes just because it is such a different color story for me. I wouldn't normally gravitate to these colors, but I think they're really, really pretty so before we start i want to just go ahead and compare the mauves and the sweet pinks with the berries the first one that they came out with here are all three of the palettes we have the berries the mauves and the sweet pinks and these are really pretty they're so pretty i'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys in and we're gonna go ahead and get started with the mauves so i'm gonna go ahead and use oh what is it supposed to be doing that? So I'm going to go ahead and take this shade right here. So just because there's only that one big fluffy blending brush with that Beauty Bakery set, I'm going to go in with another brush that I always use. And this is my lavish tapered blending brush. And I'm just going to go to this shade right here this pink kind of has really really micro glitters in it but it doesn't seem like it'll really pick up on the eye so i'm not really you know too worried about it i want to try to use all the colors in this palette so so far i've used those two i'm gonna go into this shade and put this shade in the outer corner just to kind of deepen it up a little bit Now that I have that in the outer corner, we're going to go ahead and move into these shades down here. So, mm, I want to try to use all of these shades, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Ooh. I just want this shade all over my lid, to be honest. So I'm going to take this little packer brush from the Beauty Bakery set. So basically it's the spoon. So it's a spoon brush. And I'm just going to take some of this shade on this brush. Oh my gosh, that is such a pretty shade. Hmm. So now I'm going to go into this, this little, this kind of looks like an inner corner highlight type brush, but I'm going to use it for my lower lash. This is basically the knife. <laughs> this is the knife brush and I'm going to take the shade. Let's try to take this shade since I haven't used it yet and put this on the lower lash and see what this does. Oh, that's pretty. I don't know if you guys can see this shade, but it's really pretty. 
I didn't want anything too dark on the lower lash just because I'm gonna go in with mascara and that always tends to darken up my looks so just want to keep it light like a nice pretty wash of purple I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop cream gel liner this is in the shade Amvious Hour I hope I'm saying that correctly this is just a pastel purple eyeliner And just because I said I wanted to use all six shades, the only shade I haven't used was this one right here. So what I'm going to do is take my lavish, my lavish brush again, and I'm just going to take some of that shade. And where am I going to put this? I don't know. Where do I want to put this? Uh, you know what? Let's just put it at the very top just to make sure we're all blended blended pretty seamlessly all right so here is the finished look using the mauve mini palette from Juvia's Place I loved this palette so much this look is absolutely beautiful and I was not expecting it to look this good I use all six shades which makes me very 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 happy the standout shade in this palette had to have been that dual chrome it is stunning. It makes my eyes pop. It looks really, really beautiful. I love this. I don't think I said it before, but these palettes all retail for $14. I can't believe I did not say how much it retail for. I will put it somewhere on the screen. And Juvia's Place always has a sale, so you can get this for a lot cheaper than $14. Uh, but I really, really love this and I can't wait to use the other two mini palettes. And as for the brushes from Beauty Bakery, I will say that this fluffy blending brush is so fluffy that it picks up so much product. It's ridiculous. I have, I don't have another brush like this that picks up as much product as this whisk did. <laughs> Um, and I really like this one for getting in the water line, but I also think that this would be really good for an inner corner highlight. I didn't really do that today. And this one also really does pack on a lot of shadow, which is really, really nice. This was the spoon. I did not use the angled brush, and I also did not use this brush, mainly because I don't know what I use this for. Maybe for concealer, this might be good. It might kind of be a little too fluffy for concealer but I don't know uh, I'll figure that out I'll continue to play with this with these brushes in more videos to come so and I'll let you guys know my thoughts as that go along this retails for $30 uh, is it worth $30 that I don't really know I can't really say because it is only five brushes but if you can get it on sale I'd pick it up just for the packaging really these are just really cute brushes to have uh, yeah, there's as far as with this big fluffy brush, there is something in the inside making it move, and that kind of bugs me. I don't know if you guys could hear it. It kind of bugs me that it does that. I don't know if it just came broken from like shipping or whatever, but yeah, just because as I moved it, it would move back and forth. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.